Hey, 4xE fans, I'm sitting in a Ford to try to get some understanding and idea of how a hybrid system works. One thing I've noticed in a lot of comments on YouTube and on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram about the Wrangler 4xE is that there are a lot of people that don't understand the basics of a hybrid vehicle. So I wanted to kind of explain things from a, um, from a, basic, a basic hybrid perspective and use this Ford C-Max as our demonstration vehicle. If you aren't familiar with the C-Max or the Ford uh, hybrid lines, the uh, there were two variants of the Ford C-Max. There was the C-Max and the C-Max Energy. They had the same with the um, Fusion. They had a Fusion and a Fusion Energy. The only difference between the C-Max and the C-Max Energy is the C-Max is just a standard hybrid and the C-Max Energy was a plug-in hybrid. And, and while there are some other differences, the basic difference is the battery size. The C-Max had, I think it's a 1.4 kilowatt hour battery, and the Energy had like a 7.6 kilowatt hour battery. So, but they are both hybrids. And much like the Wrangler 4xE, once the battery goes down to a certain point in the Energy version, it just becomes like a regular C-Max. And I want to show you, I want you to see some of the numbers that are possible to prove how hybrid systems work. We're looking at the trip odometer, and you can see I reset it a while back. I've got 293.4 miles, but look at that, 71.8 of those have been in electric mode. Now this vehicle, they had a really kind of cool software in here. There are two arcs over here on the left, and you can't see it right now because I'm sitting still but the arc on the left would tell you when the gas engine was applying power and the arc inside here, you see how it says EV, it'll tell you when the electric motor is generating power. And those two will sometimes work together when you're accelerating and climbing hills and the gas engine will actually shut off at times and you'll only see the inner arc and then you know you're operating in electric only mode. Now, how does that happen? in a hybrid vehicle, how does it shut off the gas engine and operate? Well, I'm glad you asked. So those 71.8 miles that you see there were times that, and this is, like I said, this is only a 1.4 kilowatt hour battery, so it's not a very big battery, but there are, the vehicle looks at demand cycle. It looks at how hard am I asking the vehicle to operate and it will look for opportunities to charge that battery. When I left my house this morning, it was charged up all the way because it found a lot of opportunity on the way home yesterday to charge. And it used that energy to propel the vehicle forward even when we don't have an external plug on this, we don't have any way of bringing external energy into it. It just grabs energy when it can, where it can, through regenerative braking and through decelerating. And any time there's an opportunity to grab engine, energy from this vehicle moving down the road. This is the same thing that goes on in the Wrangler 4xE and the soon-to-be Grand Cherokee 4xE and anything else, you know, the Renegade, the Compass. This, this is how all of them operate. You know, a lot of people think that once that battery gets to the less than 1% in the Wrangler 4xE, you're operating on a gas engine. And that's not entirely true because it's always a hybrid. It's always going to look for those opportunities to charge the vehicle. And uh, if you have a, uh, if you own a Wrangler 4xE and you take a long trip, you will find sometimes numbers on your trip odometer, you will see where you have actually had added electric miles. Now, if you're on the highway doing 70, 75, it's not going to find as many opportunities to do that. But if you go over to the hybrid screens, you will always see that it's it's charging and getting opportunities to charge, especially when you're slowing down. The um, Now, the Ford C-Max does not have the added benefit of a P1, P2 architecture with the two electric motors like the Wrangler 4xE does. It only has the one electric motor. And that it's all, it's a it's a different architecture. You have to you know look at videos on YouTube to see how the C Max is done. I won't bore you with all that stuff. But since the Wrangler 4xE has those two electric motors, the one on the front of the engine is always it's always running. You know, once that gas engine's running, it's always running. Now, when it's in electric mode, no, that front engine, that front motor is not running. But 
when the gas engine is running, you have that P1 motor that is always working to charge the uh, battery. You have regenerative braking and you have brakes in the demand cycle where it's always looking for opportunities to charge. So it always has um, a means by which to gain energy, just like any other hybrid, any of the Ford C-Mac Fusion, uh, Honda Insight, Toyota Prius, all those vehicles do the same thing in using those opportunities to gain a little electric energy. So hope that makes sense and hope you hope this uh, Ford C-Max helps you understand how the Wrangler 4xe works. Thanks for watching.